Welcome to worship at Trinity Lutheran Church. Things are changing here at Trinity. We are adding to the opportunities we provide for making connections with our friends and members. Last Sunday was a first. We enjoyed our in-person worship services here inside the building, one at 815, the other at 1045. But then in the evening, the weather was perfect. And we had an opportunity to celebrate an outdoor service in the parking lot. Kind of like a hymn sing, except that we're not singing. Only our vocal leaders are singing. But we can hear the melodies. Melodies we treasure in our hearts. Sung so wonderfully by such talented and gifted members of our congregational family. Well, this is a schedule we would like to continue. It looks like with rain being a part of this weekend, we're not so sure about what's going to happen Sunday evening. We'll have our two morning services here in the church, one at 8.15, the other at 10.45, but sometime, say between as early as noon and certainly no later than four, we'll announce to everyone whether that evening outdoor service has had to be canceled, pushed back to the next week, awaiting a, a better evening when we can gather and celebrate the, the fellowship we love, uh, the music we treasure, and yet another opportunity to connect as a church family here at Trinity. Our God is good, and the people of Trinity are responding in many ways, ways that display our our desire to contribute to the world and to strengthen the life of our church. Let's begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Almighty God, unto whom all hearts are open, before whom all desires are known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, so that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. St. John reminds us that if we say we are without sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth of God is not in us. But if we acknowledge that we're sinners and confess our sins, God, who is faithful and just, will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Our God is gracious and merciful, and loving. And so we join together in offering up a common form of corporate confession. Most merciful God, we confess that we are in bondage to sin and cannot free ourselves. We have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. Forgive us. Renew us, lead us, so that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your holy name. Amen. Hear the good news. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, has had mercy upon us and has given his only Son to die for us. For Jesus' sake, God forgives us all our sins. And as a called and ordained minister of the Church of Christ, I am under orders to share with you this good news. All of your sins are forgiven. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray. Gracious God, your generosity waters the world with goodness, and you Cover creation with abundance. Awaken in us a hunger for the food that satisfies both body and spirit. And with this food, fill all starving world. Fill all the world. This we pray through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. 